Hey, welcome back to Mr. Mix Classroom. Today, what I want to do is talk about longitude and latitude. So I think um, this is an area where people get a little bit confused. It's really not that difficult. But anyway, what we'll do is we're going to look at some sectional charts. And uh, I have some PowerPoints on this as well. So let me share my screen here and uh, we'll kind of get rolling on this. Um, there we go, share that screen. So you should be seeing my longitude and latitude screen now. Uh, let's just go over the basics here. Latitude is our horizontal line. So these are the lines that run from east to west. So as you can see on my screen here, here's a globe of the earth. And there are these lines here that run horizontally. The equator is a line of latitude. I think this easily gets confused for a lot of people. Um, and I don't want to explain why so much because I don't want the confusion to get you. Um, I do think you should steer clear of that like uh, old phrase of, um, you know, climb like a ladder, you know, oh, latitude's like climb like a ladder. Because uh, it's like, you know, I mean, well, it depends on how you want to think of a ladder, right? I mean, if they're the runs of a ladder, okay, fine. But I think if you say it like that, then you could get confused and you could think that the rails of the ladder. So just throw that one out there. I don't really like that one, climb like a ladder. Latitude lines run east and west. They are horizontal lines. The equator is a latitude line. If you remember the equator is a latitude line, that's all you really need to know. You're, you're good there, right? They measure north and south. So what they're doing is they're saying, how far am I from the equator? That's what latitude does. That's it. How far am I from the equator? That's why they got to run east and west because they run like the equator. They are parallel with the equator. Um, so they're measuring how far north you are or south you are from the equator. Here's the thing. If you're watching this video, you're, you're studying for the FAA Part 107 exam. The FAA Part 107 exam is done by the United States of America FAA. Guess what they're concerned about? United States of America. So really just pay attention to the Northern Hemisphere. Sorry for all my friends in the Southern Hemisphere, uh, but that's what the FAA is not regulating Argentine airspace. You know what I mean? It's just looking at America and that's what the questions are gonna be on. And all of the United States is in the Northern Hemisphere, including Hawaii, right? Including Hawaii is in the Northern Hemisphere. So I want you to think of it like this, as you go North, um, the numbers are getting bigger right? Because we're only looking in the Northern Hemisphere. As you go north, the numbers of latitude are getting bigger. Let's go to longitude now. Longitude lines run north and south. They measure east and west. Uh, specifically, they're measuring from the prime meridian. You'll want to know about this prime meridian thing here. It Sometimes they'll call it the Greenwich meridian, as is stated right here. Sometimes we'll call it the uh, line of longitude that runs through Greenwich, England. Um, you'll also want to know that longitude lines run perpendicular and create a 90 degree angle with the equator because they're going to ask questions like that. Which of the following categorize or describe or is true about lines of longitude? And they'll throw you, you two answers that are true about lines of latitude and not true about lines of longitude. And then they'll throw you one answer that is true about lines of longitude. And it could be something like, they create a 90 degree angle with the equator, which would be true. Here's the tricky thing with longitude. As you go west from the prime meridian, the numbers get bigger, right? So let's say here, again, here they call it the Greenwich meridian, but I think the prime meridian is the most common term, but you could see either on the FAA exam. So as you go west, the numbers are getting bigger. Again, the FAA of the United States is concerned with the United States. So it's, it's almost always going to be between like 70 degrees west longitude and, you know, 100 and maybe like 30 degrees west at the most. Uh, so it's just going to be this piece here. Um, anyway, that's longitude. Just know as you go west, the numbers are getting bigger. As you go east, the numbers are getting smaller. All right, let's look at a few things here. Now I want to talk about reading these maps. Um, all right, so those are the lines of longitude and the lines of latitude, but what you also need to know is that in each degree, so a degree is, again, just measuring how far we are from, in the case of longitude, from the prime meridian, in the case of latitude, from the equator, and so each degree is a distance. That's what they are. They're distances on a sphere. 
Well, within each degree, we get 60 minutes, just like minutes in an hour. This should be really easy. And then within each minute, you get 60 seconds. Just know there are seconds, but you don't really need to know how, about the seconds for the test. They will test you on minutes, though. You need to know the minutes, and you need to know how to count the minutes. All right. So right here, we have a line of longitude, and here, the 48 is a line of latitude. Now, how do I know the 101 is a line of longitude? There's two ways I can know this. A, it's running north and south. Now, what if you say to me, hey, how do you know the map's not flipped? How do you know it's not ro rotated? Well, I'm pretty sure it's not. I haven't seen many like that. The FAA is super tricky on their part 107 exam. They set tricks and traps the whole way through, but I haven't seen any, and I'm not saying there won't be any, but I'm just saying I haven't seen any where they rotated the map to try to trick you. But the other way of knowing that this is a line of longitude um, and this is a line of latitude is again, we're looking in the United States. And in the United States, this is not true for the rest of the world, but in the United States, um, longitude is always going to be larger in number than latitude, right? Even in the far northern parts, I mean, the highest latitude you can get is 90, right? But I mean, in the United States, I mean, in the continental United States, really, I mean, you're looking at 50s would be high, uh, pretty, pretty far north. Um, whereas the lowest longitude is going to be like 74 or something like that. Um, so anyway, that's, that's one way I know. I mean, this is longitude because it's bigger than the latitude, but also this is running vertically. It's running north and south, so it's longitude. This one, the 48, is running east and west horizontally, so it's latitude. Um, all right. So from here, let's start with the latitude. And let's say we want to find longitude and latitude of Voltaire. We'll just call that Voltaire, um, just to, to see how to do it. So 48 degrees, and I know this line is 48 because it's, it's written in a way that goes with it, right? It's written horizontally. This is written vertically, so it's the longitude, right? Um, so what I'm going to do is I want to find the latitude of of this point here, Voltaire. So what I'm gonna say is, okay, it's near 48. As I go further north, it's getting bigger. So these little hash marks here are minute hash marks. Each hash mark is one minute. So this is right at about the minute hash mark. And don't worry if you think it's like right about here. Honestly, they, they are tricky on the FAA exam, but they're not trying to mess you up that bad. They're not gonna give you an answer choice of 48 degrees in one minute or 48 degrees in two minutes. I haven't seen that. They might do something like 48 degrees north in one minute versus 48 degrees south in one minute. And again, what are we in the United States? We're always going to be in the northern hemisphere. So it should be 48 degrees north. Um, so anyway, right here would mean this Voltaire is at a latitude of 48 degrees because this line here is 48 degrees. And then this hash mark is one minute, 48 degrees and one minute north latitude because we're in the northern hemisphere. Then for longitude, this is our longitude line. This is 101. Now, this is where it gets tricky. Remember, I said that as we go west, the numbers get bigger. As we go east, our longitude lines get smaller. Think of it like this. The easy way to think of it is, is the Europeans settled colonizing to the west, right? They, they traveled to the west to colonize. So it goes from east to west. Right, so as we go east, Voltaire's to our east, right? North, east, south, west. As we go east, the number is going to get smaller. So this, this whole line would be 101, 101 degrees longitude west, right? Because we're in the western hemisphere. This hash mark would be one minute, right? One minute, two minute, three minute, four minute, five minute, right? So right here would be 100 degrees and 59 minutes. 100 degrees in 58 minutes, 100 degrees in 57 minutes, 56 minutes, 55 minutes. Notice the hash mark is a little bit bigger on the five minute mark. 100 degrees in 54 minutes, 53 minutes, 52 minutes, 51 minutes. Again, it's kind of in between the 50 and the 51. I'm just going to say it's 100 degrees in 51 minutes west longitude, right? Um, Notice that when we get 10 degrees, it's an even bigger hash mark than the five degree mark, but we'll see that next. All right, so that's kind of how we count them out. 
uh, let's see. I think I was using these to kind of help you out with these every five minutes. So what you'll see is here's our line. And then every five minutes, it's a little bit longer. So each hash mark is one minute of latitude or longitude. Then every five minutes, they give you a bit longer of a line to help you count. And then every 10 minutes, an even longer line, right? Ten, there's a, another 10 minute line. Then every 30 minutes, they're gonna give you an, a whole line, but it's not gonna be number. So therefore, because this is latitude, that's 48 degrees, this one should be 47 degrees and 30 minutes because this should be our half latitude line. And I'll expand this out. Let me expand this out for you on a bigger map. So I'm switching over here. This is um, uh, uh, vfrmap.com. This is actually a really good resource if you're practicing, just trying to learn how to read sectional charts, airspace, whatever it might be. These are really nice. So anyway, let me zoom out just a tad here. Okay, so I see my 41 degrees. I'm over here. I think I'm in Nebraska. This is Lincoln, so I'm in Nebraska. I picked that part of the country because there's not as much stuff it makes it easier to read these all right so here's 41 degrees and there's 42 degrees so 41 degrees latitude north latitude right we're always gonna be in the north they will trick you there they I, I bet you they will try to trick you there so know that there's 42 degrees there's a line here that's our 30 minute line like i was saying before so every minute it's going to be marked and you'll get a whole line and then every 30 set uh, thir sorry let me back up. Every degree will be marked and you'll get a whole line. Every 30 minutes, so half of a degree, you'll get another whole line, but it will not be marked. And then we get our next degree. A lot of times on the test, it's going to look like it's going to look like this here, right? It's going to look like um, like something like this, where you only get two points. I'm being so for real here. Like you see 101 and 48, and that's it. And they'll be like, What's the uh, longitude and latitude or where is, you know, 47 degrees, 30 minutes latitude, something like that. And they'll have you pick one of these airports or they'll pick one of these airports and ask you what the longitude and latitude is. So you got to be able to find it from just having two, one latitude and one longitude. Um, my neck's getting stiff. Give me one second here. I got to stretch it out. All right. Um, okay. <clears throat> All right, so that is that. Uh, same thing with longitude on those lines, every degree. So there's um, it's 98 degrees, 97 degrees, right? Every degree we get a line, every 30 minutes we get a line. So 97 degrees west longitude, 97 degrees, 30 minutes, 98 degrees. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else on longitude and latitude. I think those are the big things that I want to cover. I won't make this video too long. I just want to help you out with longitude and latitude here. Um, I think we went over that pretty well. If you have more questions, just feel free to add comments in. Um, make sure you do me a favor and you like the video, subscribe, share it with anybody else that you know who needs this information. Um, I'm trying to put some good stuff out there to help you out. But thanks for watching Mr. Mix Classroom. I hope to see you in the next one. Uh, take care. Good luck studying on your part 107 exam.